Okay. Yeah. And then okay. Coolest factor, coolest Craig. I need a little bit. Yeah. Coolest guy in town is with us. Steve Aoki is here. There he is. Uh, among other things, a Grammy-nominated producer, according to Forbes magazine, the world's highest-paid DJ. But it's not much. It's about fifty thousand a year. <laughs> what was the last figure? Come on. The last figure of what? How much you earned in a year? I don't know. I don't know. It was like yeah, twenty-five I, million some, or I don't yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Twenty-three million. Not bad. You can't ask someone. It's not. <laughs> I know polite. that's embarrassing, and I apologize. That was actually. But we're just proud of you. Yeah. Hard uh, to do that. Last May, he and Major, uh, Mayor Garcetti did a big thing here. Yeah, they put on a big free show. You might remember this on the streets of downtown LA. LA, okay. How you doing out there, Los Angeles? We took over the streets tonight. Let me see your hands up, LA. Put your hands up. You know, you gotta feel kind of powerful in that moment. Because they'll do whatever you ask. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah, it's an incredible feeling. And that was a free show. Yeah. That was just, people must have been so pumped. Because people are pumped anyway when they see you, but there's something about free that brings and people in the, together. In the middle of downtown LA, downtown LA. Yeah. three city blocks. Yeah. It was an incredible sight. Never experienced anything like that yeah. before. Uh, you are uniquely successful. Um, you're from what? Newport Beach, right? Yeah, originally, yeah. yeah. How did this happen? How, how did this even get into your head? Uh, I, I mean, it, was, it all starts in small places, obviously. And I was, when I was in college, I was throwing house parties with bands. And then when I moved to LA, I was DJing in little bars. And, you know, from a little bar to a club to, producing remixes and then playing at Coachella and yeah. then you know and then other festivals find out and finally step leaving the country and then playing other countries and, and step by step by step but did you envision ever in college in your little room there oh no, no. of course not you know I can, yeah. I can only imagine saying like mom and dad you know I know I'm throwing these house parties I'm doing this things I'm not supposed to be doing but I promise someday this is gonna amount to something right yeah like very few people can make any money doing what you did, let alone being on these Forbes lists and killing it. It's yeah, it's it's kind of a, like when you take it back to the very beginning. Yeah. It's definitely a dream that I never thought would. I mean, I didn't even dream of this kind of situation. I was just happy with uh, what was in front of me. I think that's what's important. You have to be really yeah. centered and focused on what's in front of you and making that the best that you can. Well, at that time, were there DJs that you were looking up to? Did this occupation, so to speak, even exist? Uh, no, no, like when, I was, like when I was playing these little bars in LA, when I first moved out here, it wasn't, I wasn't going, I, I want to be the, the, this guy. I right. want to be the biggest DJ. It was more like, no. I want to throw the best party yeah. to these 50, 60 people. And then so I could do it again. Yeah. And it's more about that. Amazing. I'm, I'm just thinking now, you had an inter interesting relationship with your late father, Rocky Aoki, but he was also a guy who big things happened. Everything he did was big. It's in the genes, isn't it? Yeah, he was um, a marketing master. Created Betty Hanna, yeah, he was a speedboat racing champion, he was a wrestler, he was a lot of things. Yeah, and um, I mean, he just never stopped. He was yeah. always working. And you never stop. How much do you sleep? Um, enough. <laughs> when, you're, when you're having one of those weeks, you know, when you're on location somewhere, let's say Vegas, do you get to Ooh. sleep at all? It, it's, it's all about the naps. You have to master napping. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, you know, like when the, the camera turns off, I'm going to, you know, click right. it off for five As long minutes. as you don't when the camera's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happens sometimes. But. This is there not nearly as exciting as the parties he throws. No, I mean, this no, is like no. boring. Uh, which neon are we up to now? We're on Neon Future Odyssey. Okay. Which is a culmination of Neon Future 1 and 2. It's been a one year project, a musical project of, uh, that I've been working on. Something I started in 2013. So finally made it to this part and I've added six new songs. To, so it's like, a, I don't know, it's like 18 songs wow. or something. And is this from the clothing line? Yes, this, this is from Dimmock Collection, which yes. we 
have available in Japan. That's so cool. And and then these are my collaboration I did with. I want to trade shoes with you, but I wish we didn't you have would. time. You need to up your shoe game. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, I, I need some black, nice black shoes like that. I'll give you these. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you Amazon. Stuff, maybe, yeah. uh, <laughs> thanks for coming in. Still great to meet you. So good to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Neon Future Odyssey is out now. Steve Aoki, thank you.